Hey there, my name is Sumit and welcome to Bubble Pie Studios. This is the lesson 2 of After Effects where we are going to dig deep into the After Effects user interface. If you are new to the software and get intimidated every time you open up the software wondering what each and every panel does, then don't worry, after this video you will be habituated with the user interface of After Effects. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. First, we are going to check out the project panel in After Effects. So this is the project panel in After Effects. When you create a new composition or if you import something in After Effects, everything is going to show up over here. To understand it better, let's create a new composition. A composition in After Effects is like a movie clip sequence in Premiere Pro. So whenever you start working on something in After Effects, you have to first create a new composition for it and it will have its separate timeline. So in After Effects, there are multiple ways to create a new composition. One way is clicking on this new composition button and there is a UI pop-up. Another way is go to composition and the new composition. You get the same UI pop-up. And the third way is in the project panel down here, if you click on this icon, you get the same UI pop-up. From here, you have to name the composition. From here, you have to adjust the resolution. I'm going to keep the width 1920, height 1080, and checking this to log the aspect ratio to 16 is to nine. Pixel aspect ratio square pixels, frame rate I keep at 30 fps, resolution half. So this is not going to be the entire resolution of the render, it's just going to be the resolution of the preview composition. Start time code 0 and the duration as 10 seconds. So the last section is for frames, then it's for seconds, then for minute and then for hour. From here, you can change the color of the background of the composition. I'm going to keep it black for now and press OK. And here you created the very first composition in After Effects. And here you can see this is listed in the project panel. And the black screen you see over here is the composition window. Whatever work you do in After Effects, you will preview all your work here in this window. And this is the timeline panel in After Effects. Now let's check out how to import files in After Effects. There are multiple ways to import files in After Effects. One way is go to file and then import and then click on file. You get the browsing window. Another way is you can simply click and drag it into After Effects. And the third way is double click here in the project panel and you get the same browsing window. From here, you can browse the file and select the file. Now I have selected a video file. So in import as, you have to select it as a footage. And here you get the option to create a new composition with the video file. I'm going to uncheck it right now and click on import. Now when you try to import an illustrator file, you want your illustration file to be imported in separate layers as the way you have divided the layers in Adobe Illustrator. So for that in import as, you have to change it from footage to composition retain layer size and in import options you have to check this create composition and then click on import. Also when you are importing a PSD file you have to follow the similar process. You have to change this to composition retain layer size and then click on import. You will get another window pop up from here you have to select this and here you have to select editable layer styles and click on ok. Now to bring something in the timeline, we have to select the file from the project panel and click and drag it and drop it in the timeline. This stick you see over here is the playhead or it's also called the current time indicator. You can just move it around with the cursor to navigate the whole clip or you can press spacebar in the keyboard to preview the whole animation or the video clip that you are working on and you are going to preview everything on this screen. And in the project panel, if you double click on any composition, it's going to open up in a new timeline. And in the timeline panel, you work in layers. Now, if you are new to Adobe softwares and don't know how the layers work, then here is a little demonstration. Here, the yellow shape layer is at the top of all the layers, so it's completely visible. Then for the sky colored layer, the area that is intersecting with the yellow colored layer is not visible because it's below the yellow layer. Same with the green colored layer, the area that is intersecting with the sky and the yellow colored layer is not visible. And same is applicable for the violet and the red colored layer. Here in the timeline, if I pull the yellow layer below the red layer, you can see the area that is intersecting with the red layer is not visible for the yellow layer. And if I pull it below the aqua layer, 
The same is also happening over here as well. Oh, by the way, if you want to move a layer in the timeline, all you have to do is select the layer, click and drag it up to move it up or click and drag down to move it down. Or you can use the shortcut key control plus the open square bracket to move it down and the close square bracket to move it up. And from this eye icon, you can toggle the visibility of a layer in timeline. The characters panel and the paragraphs panel are mainly used when we are working with text layers. So we are going to check it out when we are working with text layer in another lesson. Now we are going to check out the align panel in After Effects. So here we have three different shapes in this composition. Let's select one shape and let's place it at any random position. Go to align panel and we are going to click on align horizontally and it's going to be aligned horizontally with the composition window. Now if we click on align vertically, it's also going to be aligned vertically with the composition window. So when you select a single shape, it's aligned with respect to the composition window. And we also have options like align left, it's going to be aligned with the left side of the composition window. And if we select align right, it's going to be aligned with the right side. If we click on align top, it's going to be aligned at the top. And if we click on the align bottom, it's going to be aligned with the bottom of the composition window. Now let's see how to align multiple shapes at the same time. So for that, let's select all these three shapes and let's separate it and reposition it to random places. And we are going to select all the three shapes and then go to align and we're going to click on align vertically. And you can see all the three shapes are properly aligned. Now here in distribute layers, if we click on distribute horizontally, then all the three shapes will be properly distributed in equidistance. So this is how you can use the align panel in After Effects. From the preview panel, you can see some details regarding the preview of an animation. So from here, you can change the shortcut key for preview, but I'm going to keep it spacebar. And down here for the frame rate, keep it auto. Skip. If you increase skip to one, two or five frames, it's going to skip one frame or two frame or five frames while you are previewing the animation. So when you are actually working on a heavy project, it helps. But right now I'm going to keep it zero and the resolution. We're going to keep it auto for now. Next is the effects and presets panel. Here you can search for any effect that is already loaded in After Effects. So let's apply some blur on this video clip. Let's search for Gaussian blur and I'm going to apply this effect. So for that, I have to select the layer and double click on it. Once you apply the effect here in the effects control panel, you can see the Gaussian blur effect is already applied in the fire animation video clip. From here, we can customize the effect. So we're going to increase the blur value to add some blur. And now you can see it's adding some blur in the scene. Now, of course, we can also add some keyframes. So you see this stopwatch icon. If you click on it, it's going to add a keyframe in the timeline. And if you select the layer and press U, you are going to open the property with the keyframes. Let's go few frames forward and let's add a keyframe over here. So right now, if you want to add a keyframe, you have to click on this icon to add a keyframe. Now let's move to the start and we're going to give the value of blurness zero. And now you can see slowly it's getting blurred. Right now, you don't have to worry much about keyframes and how to animate. What I have shown you over here is just the tip of the iceberg of what After Effects is actually capable of. But in the next lesson and in the lessons after, we are going to cover all of this in details. Now we are going to check out the toolbar in After Effects. So this is the toolbar in After Effects. The first icon is the home icon. If we click on it, it's going to show up the home screen for After Effects. Now let's close this. The second is the selection tool. It's going to be selected by default. And as the name suggests, you can use this tool to select and move objects. Not only that, you can even scale up or scale down the object. Or if you press and hold the shift key and then try to scale it down, it's going to scale down, keeping the X and the Y axis dimension same. With the hand tool, you can pan around 
the composition window or event in the timeline. With the zoom tool, you can zoom in or if you press and hold the alt key and then click on it, it's going to zoom out as well. This is the rotation tool with the help of which you can rotate a layer with respect to the anchor point. And there are lots of other tools in the toolbar which requires a detailed explanation. So we're going to discuss each of the tools in a separate lesson. Next, we are going to check out the menu bar in After Effects. So this is the menu bar in After Effects. The first option is file. Here you get all the options related to file. If you want to create a new file, you can create it from here. If you want to open another file, you can get options here. If you want to save the files, you get options. So you basically get all the options that are related to file. If you want to edit something, here is what you get for edit. If you want to copy paste or let's say let's select this layer and then click on edit, you get the option to copy paste and even duplicate split and lots of other options to edit the layer. Under compositions, you get the option for changing the composition settings and all the options related to a composition. Under layer, you get the options related to a layer such as blending modes, which we are going to cover in great details, track mats, layer styles. There are lots of options that are only related to layers. Under the effects, you get all the effects that are available in After Effects. Of course, we are going to check it out in great details. Under animation, you will get option for animation such as keyframe assistant and all the other options related to keyframes, toggle hold keyframes, even add keyframes. Next in the view, you get the option to make some changes in the composition window. If you want to zoom in, zoom out, you can do it from here. If you want to click zoom in, it's going to zoom in into the composition window. Now, if you click on zoom out, it's going to zoom out in the composition window. So these options are mainly for the composition window. Next is windows. If you are missing any panels in your workspace, just come over here and search up. And if you find that option, just check it, it's going to pop up in your workspace. So we don't need it, let's close it. And next is help. It is basically a guide for After Effects or more details from Adobe. You can even check out keyboard shortcuts from here and all the other details or user manuals for After Effects. And finally, here is the properties panel. If you select a layer, then go to the properties panel. It's going to show up all the properties of that layer. So currently I have selected a video layer. So it's only showing up the layer transform properties, which is anchor point position, position property, scale, rotation, and opacity. But for shape layers, there are a lot of extra properties that will show up. So we will have a separate lesson for properties panel. So we're going to address properties panel in that particular lesson. All right, so that is it for this video. In the next lesson, we're going to create our very first animation in After Effects, and then we're going to render it out in a video clip format so that you can share it in social media platforms. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.